Who will do my will? If anyone come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross. That ain't abandoning yourself. That's putting yourself in the hands of a God that's got all power. I give John Perkins nothing to follow Christ who has it all. The other great event in my life was when we was um, locked up in the Brandon jail. And man, they tortured us that night in that jail. Now that was absolutely torture. I thought they was gonna kill us. Uh, blood was everywhere. And I, I knew they had us there and that there was no end to that outside of death. That is when reconciliation was somewhat confirmed. Now is the time. The day you hear God's voice, harden not your heart. That's the time. See, God wants to use our time in a very creative, management way so you can achieve the goals that you have for you. So he sensed God's timing. And, and it wasn't freedom given to us. It was a freedom that we claimed for ourselves. And I want to say this to our young, particularly to our young black people. We're going to get as much now as we earn. And somewhere in between that, I knew they was going to kill me, and I prayed to God. I said, God, if you'll let me out of this jail, I want to preach a gospel that could save these people. Let's hear God speak. Let's see what God is saying. God is up and down the streets. God is forever listening. God is forever calling. God is out there, and he's speaking. He's speaking. Let's hear what God is saying. The day of expecting other people to do more for us is over. The opportunity is here. Young people, who knows that God is not preparing you for this crisis moment. Now is the time for young folks like you to get your skills, stay in school, get your education, and then come back to the community. So when God appears to us, he appears to us because he got something special for us to do, and that God himself is set on carrying that out. A Martin Luther King rallied the people to take responsibility for their own lives. And that we got just as much freedom now. If you don't have enough freedom, it's because we didn't take enough responsibility. That's what I wanted to say to you, you young folk. Come. Let us together rebuild the walls of America.